Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. Today we're gonna look at a viral TikTok accusing the entire anime industry of catering to predators. Now it begins with this completely innocent person, they're just asking for anime hot takes, and then our main protagonist comes in with her stitched response. So let's begin. What's an anime hot take you have that people won't like? The industry fucked up and catered to pedophiles. So that is a bold accusation, okay? She just accused an entire medium of catering to predators. I'm sure she has all the evidence to back it up with some clear and concise examples of anime catering to predators. Well, actually, the age of consent in Japan is 13 years old. One sentence in, there's already so much to, to unpack here, okay? Number one. Whenever you're talking about anime or any sort of fiction, the second someone brings up age of consent laws, just discard anything they're saying. Because what does that have to do with fictional content? Here's a mind-blowing fact. There is no fiction out there, no fictional characters that can consent. A Lolly character can't consent. A 50-year-old MILF character can't consent. None of them can consent. So age of consent laws have absolutely nothing to do with fictional content and there's a reason why they aren't mentioned in those laws okay second of all the whole age of consent being 13 in japan argument she's mocking here nobody in their right mind makes that and to clarify there is one place in japan that has an age of consent of 13. one place it is a remote island with two inhabitants so that's it and virtually everyone knows that's not the national law for Japan. And the only person who ever brings up these types of arguments are antis mocking what they think their detractors will say. Old, so you don't really understand. It's a culture. So, again, she's mocking the whole people saying it's their culture or something here's the thing you are accusing an entire medium of catering to predators the anime industry is a culture that is not that doesn't make you a weeaboo to say that the anime industry is a culture it is a huge part of japanese culture that's just that's again it's not something a weeaboo says it's just a fact so when you accuse that entire medium, that culture of catering to predators, you are attacking that culture. And uh, not to mention the fact, it sounds a little bit, uh, Xena, let's just keep going. The age of consent laws work more like the Romeo and Juliet laws. There are strings attached to it. It does not work that way. You, a 35 year old adult, cannot go and marry a Japanese high schooler just because you saw it in an anime remind me what we're even talking about anymore i don't even know what we're talking about we were talking about anime anime hot takes and we're talking about some straw man 35 year old weeb who watches an anime and now wants to marry a japanese schoolgirl. is that what happens when someone watches anime bruh and if y'all don't believe me on this i don't um it wasn't until very recently that Japan actually recently uh, made it a felony to actually possess child pornography. It was 2014. So the big anime L that we're facing right now, yeah, that was left out of that conveniently because apparently... So what she's saying is, I'm, I think when she says the big L, she means either lollycon or lollies. Yeah, they were left out of CP laws. I know that might make your brain explode, but... There is a difference between fictional anime characters and real life children. They should not be equated into the same laws. Does that surprise you? Because that's the case with the vast majority of laws throughout the world. Those things are not treated the same. They're not even mentioned in the same space. So don't demonize Japan because they want to separate fiction from reality. Apparently, we have such a huge fucking market for this type of Language. content that they don't want to have to, you know, get rid of it. Why do we have a market for these people? Whoa. 
sorry for the early pause, but these people. I, <laughs> what do you mean these people? Okay, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a break here and assume she's talking about the international anime audience, okay? Not not just Japanese people, because you know. But uh yeah, there's a market because people are enjoying fictional content and are able to separate that from reality. And the things that are shocking you and causing you to have a meltdown on a public TikTok are staples of the industry that nobody found weird until a couple years ago when it became trendy to do so for clout on the internet, okay? You don't actually care about kids. You're talking about age of consent laws that have absolutely nothing to do with anything. You're talking about CP. This isn't CP. This is anime. Like... I'm sorry, it might, these things might make you uncomfortable, they might gross you out a little bit, but guess what? They're not the same. And I, I would hope, I would just hope, deep down, people like this know the difference, okay? But I guess it's a lot easier to fake it for clout, so. Okay, to wrap up this video, I want to show a string of replies the creator of the TikTok made once this video kind of blew up. So they were saying they, po they did the classic, I posted this at 1 in the morning, Okay, you can't, it's still slandering an entire medium at 1 a.m. or at 2 p.m. Like, it, it doesn't matter. But anyways, they say, I didn't expect this to get so popular, so I wanted to clarify things. Liking anime isn't the problem. I love anime. You just said it caters to predators. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, the problem starts when we start to blur reality with imagination. Uh, Poon Tang addiction has serious effects on the brain and it needs more extreme fixes. We this video is about anime hot takes. You the whole time you're talking about anime. And I this, what where is the the Poon Tang? What what does that have to do with anything? We're talking about addiction to that. We're talking about anime hot takes. Like an anime hot take is like shonen's overrated. Like not the entire anime industry caters to predators. That's not a hot take, that's an accusation. Like, let's just keep going. Japan as a whole is a, is a wonderful country, but it's a land of extremes with plenty of problems. Life isn't an anime, sadly. Ding, 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 ding! <laughs> it's becoming self-aware. Wow, that's amazing. I'm glad you're learning that life isn't an anime. And those little uh, magical girls from the anime you're watching, they're not real. And no one thinks they're real. And no one's confusing them for reality. And nobody is flying over to Japan to take advantage of misrepresented age of consent laws to marry a Japanese high school student. Maybe, maybe we're in the step, a step in the right direction here. But here's their last reply saying, also the amount of health problems... Uh, sexual assault causes on a child's physical bodies is insane. It can't handle adult interaction and leads to permanent damage. True, but uh, again, we're talking about anime, okay? We're, we're talking about anime. And I know the response, uh, Rev, uh, there's a connection between uh, the, the sexualization of anime uh, characters and, and real life children. Show me. Show me anything to back that up. Again, you can think these things are weird. You can think they, they make you uncomfortable. You, you don't want anything to do with them. That's fine. Anime, hentai, whatever it is. But constantly comparing them and making these completely artificial connections between real life victimization and fictional content, you're only doing a disservice to real life victims by watering down terms like pedophile, predators, all of those things. You just work to water down the term, so no one takes it seriously. In fact, that's why no one takes a, a claim like the anime industry is catering to pedophiles very seriously. And it's people like this who kind of did it to themselves. Even if there was legit merit to it, no one takes it seriously because you just throw that, that word around like it's, it's a common insult or a buzzword. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the TikTok cringe with me. Uh, it was a little bit of a long one, but I, I hope you enjoyed. And I have a lot more. I have a big backlog of anti-takes to, to hammer out over the next few days. So I'm thinking of doing one big grand video 
collecting insane takes from aunties that have happened in the last week. There's so many I can't do individual videos. I'm going to do one big one. So stay tuned for that. Again, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.